right so hey guys in this video i'm going to show you how to fix roblox no longer supports windows 32-bit devices so this error is um existing because of your uh, windows 32-bit version uh, if you have a windows 64-bit version you won't be seeing that error so to determine what error and where it is from you're just going to open your explorer and then you're going to see this pc right here you're going to right click on it and click on properties okay and here it will show you in your system type it will show what version of windows you have if you have a 32-bit version that is the problem and in order to convert it to a 64-bit version you need to reformat your whole computer and um, to change it to a 64-bit version okay so to do that uh, before doing this next step please make sure your computer is fully backed up all of your data is in a different drive or a different device and since this uh, reformat will delete all of your existing data okay so to do that you're going to go into your uh, windows explorer right here i would highly recommend you to um, download windows 11 you can do that by uh, going into your um, search bar right here and typing in updates okay you can click on check for updates and you're going to let um, windows download the updates and you will get windows 11 straight up and you can download and install windows 11 automatically if your computer doesn't support windows 11 we can uh, change that by doing a windows 10 64-bit install so you're going to search for windows uh, media creation to windows 10 okay and then here you're going to click on windows uh, download windows 10 um, installation and here you're going to click on download tool now that will download the media creation tool you're going to open that click on yes and this process will take a while so please be patient here you'll prompt you to accept the uh, license terms just click on accept and uh, it will run a bit more so yeah just bear with it guys okay guys so here in this screen you're going to click on create installation media if you click on upgrade this PC now it's just going to reinstall Windows 32 bit version okay so you're going to create uh, installation media click on next and here if you're using a 32-bit version it will default to 32-bit so you're just going to uncheck this and make sure you set it to 64-bit okay click on next and now you can uh, do this by inserting a USB flash drive or just downloading an ISO file so just click on next and then here you it will prompt you where you want to save the ISO file so I'm just going to save it on my desktop click on save and yeah it will start downloading uh, Windows 10 so once you have the Windows 10 ISO file you can either use it to set up a bootable USB flash drive or you can just open up the ISO file and run the setup and it should start installing Windows 10 like normal so that's all for this video guys it's a very simple process and if this video helped you at all do support by liking sharing and subscribing uh, that's all for me. Thanks for watching, folks.